Earlier this year, the world lost a strong global leader. Across the world, we saw outpourings of respect and admiration for Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II following her passing. This was testament to her impact as a leader who stayed relevant over seven decades. Our late Queen was both a traditionalist and a modernist, thinking about the future when making decisions and never underestimating the impact those would have. She cared deeply about people, but also about nature and our planet. In this way, the Queen and other members of the royal family were ahead of their time. There are many lessons we can learn from her leadership example. During COP26, we saw some far-reaching commitments being made by global leaders, all with the aim of limiting harmful global warming. Then in early 2022, the Russian invasion of Ukraine threatened the good progress being made, destabilizing traditional energy supplies and throwing our global economies into turmoil. This, coming so soon after the global pandemic, has given today's business leaders much to think about and to deal with, putting at risk some of the decisions made previously. But we must stay the course. As I said at the time of COP26, leaders of enterprise, whether large or small, have an extremely important role to play when it comes to leading the sustainability agenda. There is no question in my mind that we will be held to account for the decisions that we make or more importantly, fail to make today to help leave a better world for our children and our grandchildren. So we must find ways to overcome the obstacles in our path. And it's this belief that we have to act now to protect our planet that drives Sparrow Sarko Engineering. The focus of our group for over 130 years has been to help our customers make their industrial processes safer and more efficient, reducing their energy costs. But now, we also have the opportunity to support our customers in a new journey, to make their businesses more sustainable. With our products and solutions playing essential roles in industrial processes, for critical sectors such as food and beverage, pharmaceutical, biotechnology, and healthcare, Finding new ways to sustainably produce the things we all need in our daily lives is paramount. That's why we've spent several years innovating and developing ways to enable our customers to decarbonize their industrial processes, as these account for large proportions of their costs and their greenhouse gas emissions. The International Energy Agency has identified that heat accounted for 50% of global energy consumption in 2018, with half of that energy consumption being for industrial processes. Heat in total also contributed 40% of global carbon dioxide emissions. The increasing adoption of net zero targets, driven by demands from all stakeholders in society, will have a profound effect on industrial activity over the coming decades. Steam is the most efficient medium to transfer large energy loads in the form of heat into industrial processes. Steam, as pure water, is clean and natural technology. However, in the vast majority of cases, industrial steam is raised by burning fossil fuels, emitting carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Sustaining steam as a pure natural source of thermal energy in industrial and manufacturing processes is critical for many of our customers and is core to what we do. So it required us to think differently and to challenge our own thinking. We had to revolutionize our approach to give our customers a viable solution to decarbonize while maintaining their essential steam systems. And this is where our Target Zero solutions come in. These new and innovative heating technologies enable our customers to install new electric boilers at scale or convert, in situ, existing gas boilers to electric with minimal impact to their operations. This means customers can retain their steam systems, eliminate their scope one emissions, and still meet their net zero objectives 
when combining these solutions with renewable energy sources. We believe the scale of decarbonization opportunity is truly significant, as only 5% of industrial process heating is currently generated by electricity. However, there are several factors which will influence the rate of adoption of these decarbonization solutions. Most notably, the rate of progress towards net zero in different countries, the infrastructure required and the capacity to deliver that infrastructure quickly, as well as increased operational costs. We are leading the way by decarbonizing our own industrial processes, including the raising of steam. We know from direct experience how hard decarbonization can be. Even when you have the technology, the means and the will to decarbonize, there are still so many variables that can impact your progress, sometimes leading to the feeling of an impossible task ahead. I said last year that businesses will have to be prepared to take a leap of faith. This is truer today than it was then. When faced with these difficult and seemingly impossible decisions, we have to keep reminding ourselves why we became leaders. I believe it's because we wanted to make a difference. And to do that, we need to think about the long-term impact of our decisions, be bold and authentic to ensure we're staying relevant in this ever-changing world. A world where purpose matters. A world where our people have more flexibility to choose where to work and who to follow. A world where protecting our planet is becoming more of an imperative for everyone. That's why we are committed to achieving Scope 1 and Scope 2 net zero by 2030, as well as doing all we can to help our customers decarbonize. That's how we are making our difference for tomorrow.